All right, hey, what's up, guys? Um, I had a few comments on one of my videos. I can't, can't remember which one, but I was asked about my table saw and how I did the dust collection under there. So I'm going to take you under here and I'm going to show you the backside where I, um, I took off the two and a half inch dust port and just put a piece of cardboard over it. And then I went on the bottom side and just made a, um, just closed it off basically and put a four inch port under there. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I just wanna show you real quick. Uh, I had some questions about it, so maybe this will answer your questions. So let me see if I can get a shot. Okay, so you can see the piece of cardboard and tape there. That's where the two and a half inch port was. I just basically just blocked that opening off. I got that blue dust port out of there and just basically closed that back opening off. So you can close it. And so that's that's really all I did there. Now on the bottom side here, let me see, if I'm gonna have to lay down on the floor. <clears throat> okay, so this is the bottom side of the table saw. Uh, this is the front metal piece where the you raise and lower the blade. I've got a screw here and a screw here. And that's what's holding this two by four. This two by four is uh, sitting on this lip and I've just got a couple of screws holding that in place. And then I've got a piece of plywood screwed to that two by four, creating a, a, a bottom to the table saw. And then that piece of plywood has a four inch hole in that. And I've got this, if you can kind of see it, this plastic piece, it's called a dust hood, a table saw dust hood. I got it off Amazon. I've actually got it listed on my website under uh, the tools page. So stoneandsons.net slash tools, you can find that, it's listed there. Uh, it's an Amazon link. But I've got, uh, right off of that, I've got this uh, blast gate. And so this blast gate is just right up under the saw. And that's an improvement uh, without that two and a half inch port on the back and using just this. And on the front, the opening there, I've got this where I can raise this out of the way if I wanna tilt the blade uh, and when the dust collection's on it kind of closes that off and so I've just got tape everywhere I did not close off the the vent there but I've got tape all around it on all the other uh, joints and openings and this is my next step to have a zero clearance insert and so that will help the dust coming off the top of the table so that's it that is the table saw and the dust collection. Uh, so if you had any questions about that, maybe this will answer it. If not, leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you on any other questions you might have. All right, guys. See you later.